Hello everyone, how are you all doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair. Oh my gosh, it's a big surprise. I would never think that we would hit 10,000 subscribers, but it seems that we did. We would have never got here without you all. Regardless, we're going to be going into a video and showing you how to download a secure browser. And this technically secure browser is going to be called AVG Secure Browser. So technically what it is, is pretty much one that kind of protects from stuff what you get on. So it already has private browsing mode that pretty much everyone does have usually but also have stuff that pretty much blocks ads um, seamless of integrations of like pretty much for VPN has the ability on there also if I'm correct you can integrate like if you had the AVG antivirus also it also forces HTTPS encryptions for everything you get on pretty much it also protects you against tracking scripts and also helps you mask your browsing fingerprints and stuff like that it has a lot more features that it actually does have and it's a very smooth one and very simple that I would really recommend for you to choose. So let's go ahead and just jump right into this video and to show you how to download and install this. All right guys, so first thing you do is pretty much open up a browser. You can use Google Chrome, Firefox. I'm actually gonna open up Edge, the new Edge that's currently running off by Chrome, um, pretty much. If I'm correct, I think the AVG, um, Secure browser we're going to be doing actually runs off by a Chromium based system, so we're going to go into that. So I'm going to go to Google real quick, and all I'm going to do is type in AVG um, Secure Browser, and it's already coming up pretty much. And here we are, it'll be this one right here AVG, and it has EN US, so it's English US, and a secure browser. Depending on your at, it might be a little different, but pretty much comes to the same thing, and this is what you're going to see. Tells you more stuff about it, exactly what I was saying, and you can read more details if you want to. But regardless, you can just select the free download. It also tells you right here you can download this on Mac or Android too. So if you do have that, that can help you all out. So here on the left side, pretty much AVG is pretty much downloaded. So I'm going to go ahead and click this file and open it. You'll probably be prompted for this. Go ahead and press yes. And here it is. I'm going to go ahead and just exit the browser because I don't need this anymore. We can probably just press the accept and install, but I'm actually going to go ahead and select the options to see if there's any additional files. I don't want to be considerate of stuff that I don't want to be there installed with it. Okay, on here it pretty much tells us if you want to launch the browser after it's been finished. I'll go ahead and leave it as that. If you want to create a desktop, a shortcut for the desktop, or in the taskbar, start menu, I'll leave those as they are. It does have the bit if you want to make the AVG Secure Browser to be your new default browser. That's all up to you what you want to do. And up here on the top, pretty much, you can choose if you're currently using like Chrome, Firefox, Edge. You can choose which one if you had any pretty much bookmarks on there. They can just import them over. Um, technically, it doesn't really matter to me. And I'm going to go ahead and press accept and install. Alrighty, it's pretty much finishing up right now. Let's go ahead and see if this actually closes up itself or it might just probably just tell you that it's done. Let's give it a second. Okay, so this already popped up and it disappeared. So this is what it looks like. It tells us if you want to pretty much enjoy browsing that's safer, more private, and up to four times faster. And I think it has additional features like customization setups and stuff like that. It tells you again if you want to import bookmarks, history, password settings, stuff like that. I'm actually just going to uncheck them. I don't really need them. Up here, you can just, if you want to make AVG Secure Browser to be your default browser, you can leave it as if you want to, or you can just uncheck it. It's whatever you want to do. You can launch the AVG Secure Browser automatically at logon. Uh, technically, I don't want that to start up automatically when I sign into that computer. I don't know why I would want that. And regardless, I'm going to go ahead and press finish after that. And this is what it looks like. Now, I know that uh, if I'm correctly, they created this ads blocking right here from the AVG Secure Browser, but I think it only blocks specific things that want to be blocked, so there's a few settings that you need to do. So right now we're going to go to like a website like very popular that I know how one that has ads is like Yahoo. Yahoo, as you notice, we are technically still getting some ads right here. You probably blocked the ones on the side. Oh, nope, there's still ads that are coming up, and you see that's not really technically blocking ads, which you want to be done. So what you would have to do up here is you would have to turn it on. And then you would think that that's it. I'm going to go ahead and refresh this. And it removed the ads pretty much right there. And it's running a lot smoother. If I'm correct, there's even additional settings depending on the ads here. Let's go to options on the ads. And there's essential, there's 
balanced and they're strict. Most of the time when I would choose this, I would press strict. That way it would actually block as many ads that it can be done. Um, it's up to you, but that's my option that I would choose. So here we are again, I'm going to refresh this and again, there's no ads and it's looking a lot smoother on it. If it does come to a point that if you're trying to go to a website and it's telling you, please turn off the ad blocker for be to help us out. That's what we work on. Then you understand. All I just come to the right corner and you'll just go to options and you can just turn it off for that time period. And that way, if you needed to go to a specific site that needs to use those ads for you allowed to use their website, then you understand how this works. You would have to just turn it off and on, but that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching from Helton's Computer Repair. If you want to help us out, consider about purchasing one of our t-shirts. Eventually, I'm really waiting for it to start appearing on there on YouTube, but it hasn't come up yet, so just follow the links below, and you'll be able to get to the link there. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button, but if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button, get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store, link in the video description, and for the rest, I will see you on the next video video.